Hi folks, welcome back to Let's Play Disney's Aladdin, and there is really uh, no time for interruptions except to say that I am Grangle here, because it's time to finish escaping from the Cave of Wonders on our magic carpet here. And this level uh, is actually one of the easiest levels in the game. As you can see, basically all you really have to yeah. do is follow the genie's directions either by uh, going up or down as you're trying to escape from the giant freaking wave of lava that is following you, or that is chasing you. And what I'm collecting here are actually pieces of an apple. You get four apple pieces, you get an apple. And, uh, generally, uh, and sometimes it can be a good idea to follow the trail of apples, but sometimes they will lead you astray, so pay attention. When the genie points up and down like that, you can either go up or down and you will be safe. Just remember to go all the way up or all the way down. Because sometimes it can be kind of dangerous. And sometimes you gotta be fast with this too here. And so this is basically kind of more of a bonus level than anything. When that question mark appears there, you always want to go down. Down is the correct path when you see a question mark. And so, Aladdin continues to move along here. It's a pretty short level, we're almost done here. As that wave of lava gets closer. And there we go. The level is done. Aladdin has escaped from the Cave of Wonders with the help of his magic carpet. And that was the level known as Rug Ride. Easiest level in the game. Alright, let's move on here. Now, basically, what's next here is another relatively easy level, if you're pretty good at platforming. This level here is known as Inside the Lamp. We're about to play. And Inside the Lamp is basically a video game representation of the genie's fun little musical number when he appears before Aladdin, saying, hey, look, I'm the genie, I'm cool doing all this, including his the music for the level being the music from that number, obviously, Friend Like Me, pretty much everybody's favorite song from the movie, aside from Whole New World, though I prefer other songs, it's still pretty fun. So this level here, um, basically you are running along the genie's smoke cloud thing, whatever he's made of, um, but you gotta keep moving as long as you're in the blue section here because, as you can see, you slide through it, and thank goodness I didn't die there, um, you, slide, you slide through it if, you're, if you decide to stand still, except if you are on one of the genie's armbands here on one of his wristbands. So you kind of slide through here. You can collect a whole bunch of stuff in this level. There's stuff scattered everywhere. And pretty much everything is branded with the genie. If you see in the background there, you might be able to see uh, some familiar, something familiar there. It's a Genesis back there. Um, it looks like a Model 1 Genesis. So it's a bunch of platforming here. We gotta hop on these balloons at the genie's face. And if anything, it's just a really fun time. Fun times to be had with the genie. But, again, while not the most difficult of levels, if you're not very good at platforming, it can be a bit tricky. You can see the merchant back there. In order to reach the merchant, what you gotta do is you gotta hold left as that last hand uh, flicks you back there, and you'll be able to purchase things from the merchant. I've already got nine lives, so I'm just gonna go ahead and purchase a couple of continues. Won't need them, but they're there. Another thing to notice here is you can see later on in the level here, you start seeing the genie's hands here. They will uh, grow and shrink. And if a hand grows and shrinks like that, you don't want to be standing on it when it's small because you will fall. 
that hand, that small hand will not support you. And here we go again. Kind of wonder, you know, if he's there, he has the balloon, and those balloons are popping, does that hurt? You know, thinking about it that, maybe I really don't want to wonder. Maybe some questions are best left unanswered. I don't know about you. I'm sorry for that. So again, don't stand on those hands while they're small. They will not hold you up. And you gotta watch where you're going here. This is an interesting puzzle. Three of these growing and shrinking hands here. And uh, this time they they don't always go in the same pattern. This time they went in a pretty easy pattern, so it wasn't hard to figure out, but you gotta learn that pattern there. In order to get past those hands. Again, this can be kind of some kind of tricky platforming, so we'll always know where you're going to be jumping next. This hand here, even though it looks small like the others, it's slightly bigger, and it will hold you up just barely, but it will. And here we go, there's a genie, run up his tongue, and there's the level. Alright, so that was the next two uh, stages here of Disney's Aladdin, uh, stages 7 and 8. In the uh, next part, we will be doing the finale of this Let's Play as we go after Jafar uh, by going back to the Sultan's Palace yeah. to take him on. Thank you very much for being uh, for uh, being such awesome viewers here and enjoying my videos, and I hope you uh, enjoy the last part of this Let's Play in Part 5. See you then!